Hi, it's Scott Tempesta with Sailing Anarchy. We're back with yet another one of our retro boat videos. This is where we, you know, you know what we do. We go back in a little bit of time, take a look at some of the older boats, how they were uh, compared to some of the new boats. This is a fascinating combination of both of those, actually. This is actually more of a retro look because this boat is modern, but it's designed to look from another era. Say hello to the Eagle 44. Listen. So here's the boat. It's obviously beautiful. It's a very modern design, even though you wouldn't think so necessarily. Very open, no lifelines totally gorgeous, about as easy on the eyes as any boat you'll see. We're gonna take you on board here, but we're gonna do something really cool a little bit later. We're gonna take you out on the boat, which is just a total treat for me. I've never been on it, and I can't wait to see how it sails. Come on aboard. I told you it's a day sailor, and indeed it is. Look at this cockpit. I mean, it's fabulous. I guess you could probably fit 10 people back here if you wanted to obviously open, tons of visibility, beautiful features like this, just amazing table that's just begging to have a couple rum drinks on it, with me drinking them, of course. Huge wheel, really interesting here because there's only one winch that controls everything on this boat. It's right there, it's got four rope clutches. The winches are electric on this boat. A nice little simple instrument presentation there. And otherwise, what you see is what you get on this boat. I mean, there's not a lot of complication. The electric winches, hydraulic is here, electric over there. Repeater instruments on that side of the boat only. And this is just a delightful place to be. I'm standing here, well, because. Because most boats just don't have this. I mean, this is part of the overhang. It's just nice, open, it's cool looking. Again, super simple design, nice teak decks, and wow, I, I could hang out back here, hold the backstay, pretend like I'm saying and, and knowing something when I'm actually really not. Again, just a nice feature on this bitchin' 44-foot day sailor. A couple of nice touches about this boat. <clears throat> the wheel, I love it. Teak and stainless, super nice. Really, really clean satin finish. Check out this. I mean, they've gone out of their way to do really nice polished stainless uh, for all of the electric uh, winch controls, hydraulic backstay, the furler in and out. Even I think I can follow those directions. Just simple, but with a little bit of extra class to it. It's really, really a fabulous boat. Now, when you have a super sleek, narrow boat that's designed just to be a day sailor with no real cabin house to speak of, that means you're not gonna have much volume down below, and this boat clearly doesn't. But what is here is, as you would expect, just beautifully finished, really nice little touches. Interestingly enough, it's got a huge V-berth. Not a lot of room up, but man, there's tons of room to sleep here, so you could easily well, you could just come down here and pass out or if you've been drinking at the Yacht Club all night. I mean, that's what you could do. I don't think you're going to be bringing too many people to entertain down here, but you're just going to, you have a space to be in and it's not a bad place to be. Although clearly you want to be out there on deck. Here's an aft shot of the interior. Probably not surprising that it kind of ends right here. Um, there's a couple of nice features on this thing. Uh, I'll show you the one that's actually really a surprise. So it's a classy, you know, expensive day sailor. No doubt you'll have females on board. Um, uh, where are they gonna uh, use the head? Ha! Huh. It's right here. Imagine that. I mean, it's pretty in your face, but where else are you gonna put it? Um, nice. It's electric head, like a lot of the things. Well, hell, like everything on the boat is, but. You know, it's just a nice touch. I'm sure the designers had fun figuring out where to put it. Under the V-berth, let's put it under this little mini settee. Nah, let's put it right here. Uh, not much else down here. This is just, a, could be a little ice chest for you. And otherwise, that's down below on an Eagle 44. 
We're lucky enough to be here with the owner of this Eagle 44, Mike Bronner. Mike, what do you say we step on board? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a sale. sale. Awesome. Here we are sailing the Eagle 44. It's just a tad over nine feet wide, which is incredibly narrow, perfect for a day sailor. The boat has some heft to it. It's about 19,000 pounds. This boat has the deeper keel. I think it's just short of seven feet deep with some lead in there because if you're gonna sail your day sailor, you can't have it tip over. You can't have it be extra tippy either. The boat is just a joy to sail. You can see how light it is on the helm. Trimming any sails is well, just a push of the button. It goes through the water smoothly, cleanly. It's a typical light air day here in San Diego, but the boat is just a dream in these conditions. One of the things you notice about this boat are the overhangs. They're long and graceful, designed to emulate what the early J boats look like. This boat's designed by Dykstra and Associates. They've got a history in doing boats like this, and the end result is something that is just gorgeous. It's not what a modern boat would be, but guess what? This boat's not trying to emulate that. This boat's not trying to emulate anything. This boat's trying to be, well, exactly what it is, a beautiful, luxurious day sailor that goes through the water nice and easy and is really easy to sail. And that brings us to the conclusion of our wonderful experience on the Eagle 44. What a fabulous thing. If you like this video, there's a like button down there. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, we'd love that because there's a ton more of these and there's a ton more coming. Um, that wraps for today for Nobleman Productions for Sailing Anarchy. I'm Scott Tempesta. We out. Kind of makes you feel